guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got my July favorites to share with you guys today. I don't have a ton of products, but everything I've used, I have used pretty much every day for the month of July. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I do have one sort of tool, I guess, that I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so this is called the Spatty. Actually, I think this is the Spatty, and this is Spatty Daddy. So my friend Jen actually gave these to me when she came to visit last month, and I think these are genius. So basically there's like this one, which is the longer one, and then this, this one, which is the shorter one. And what you do is you just use them to scoop out like the remaining bits of makeup in a tube that you might not be able to get with a pump. They're especially great, I think, for products like this that come in the squeeze tubes because I always have a hard time getting that last little bit of product out. You can cut off the top, use your spatula, and you guys, it's insane how much product is left in a jar when you think there might not be any left. You can use it for foundations, concealers, like creams, face products. I think this is a great little investment. It's going to really stretch a buck over time. I used it on my uh, Luminous Silk Foundation. I thought it was completely done and I got four more uses out of it. So it's kind of crazy how these little uh, spatulas can get so much product out. I'll try to find a link to these below. I think Jen says she picked these up at Bed Bath & Beyond, so that's a place to check. Um, but I just think these are super cool and I, yeah, highly suggest picking these up. Okay, I do have one skincare product. So this is from Jacinth and I have talked about this brand at length, one of my absolute favorite skincare brands that I have found to date. They're Canadian, they're all natural, they're cruelty free, they stand for a lot of great things. And this is their Shea Butter and oh my gosh, you guys, Especially if you have drier skin like I do, I so suggest picking this up. First of all, I love the smell of this. It smells like a spa, but it's got a hint of vanilla. It is so, so luxurious. So it is a solid shea butter, and my favorite way to use this is just to scoop out a little bit and melt it, and then in the evening when I'm going to bed, I put it all over my face. I take a face cloth and run it under some warm water, squeeze it out, and just lay it on top of my face. Then I just lay in bed and feel basically like a goddess. It feels so good. It is like an at-home facial. You don't need to rinse it off. I just remove the face cloth after it's cooled down and then I just go to sleep and the next morning my face feels so soft and it's just, oh my gosh, it's just completely rehydrated, replenished and it just, I don't know guys, I feel like it just gives me that youthful kind of glow. This is so, so nice. I'll link it below for you guys. This is, um, I'm not affiliated with this brand. They did send me this product. They have sent me a few of their products and I would say skincare is definitely the item that I get sent the most of and this is hands down my favorite brand to date that I've discovered. I've said that a few times in favorites and empties but highly recommend checking this out. I will have a link below for you guys. Let's move on to some makeup. So if you watched my last video which was a luster bust, spoiler alert, I love the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Heads up, if you have oily skin, I do not think this is a good idea, but if you were in the dry to normal range like myself, absolutely amazing foundation from the drugstore. I have it on today. I will link my full review below for you guys if you're interested. If you do have oily skin, they do have a matte version, which I have not personally tried, but I have heard great things about, so something to check out if you are on the oilier side. This is just a great lightweight, medium coverage, all day wearing, slightly dewy and radiant without having glitter in it sort of foundation and I love it, so highly recommend this. Oh my gosh, again, I do have a review on this that I will link below as well. Too Faced, Born This Way. <sighs> You guys, this is like a bit of a game changer for me. This is not just a concealer, but it's also got some great skincare properties in it, which I love when makeup and skincare collide. So good. So this has Alpine Rose, which is a brightening agent, so it's going to give you that like awake and youthful look. Um, it's also got coconut water, which is going to be hydrating, and you guys, this actually smells like coconuts. It smells so good. I put this on, I'm like, Am I at the beach? It's a medium coverage. It lasts on my skin all day. I love this if you are looking for a nice hydrating um, medium coverage foundation. No, 
not foundation, concealer that lasts all day and just blends effortlessly, really sits nicely on the skin. This is definitely one to check out. Let's talk about some cheek products. I actually meant to mention this last month and I just totally forgot I had it sitting here on my little desk and when I finished filming I was like, oh my gosh, how could I have forgotten about this? So this has been a favorite of mine for a couple months now. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Gleam. You guys, this is insanely beautiful. Oh, they have a couple different um, like quads available and I saw that she's released some really unique new ones with some purple shades. I don't know if those are actually available yet, but they're coming and they look insanely gorgeous. When this released, I didn't really think much of it. I thought, okay, just another highlighting kit. But when I was at Sephora and I started swatching these, I fell in love hard and fast. They're beautiful. They just kind of melt into the skin. They do pack a really beautiful punch. On the high points of my cheek today, I do have Crushed Pearl, a lightest shade here, but I have actually been using all four of these in one way or another. Starburst um, has a little bit of a peachy tone, and I like to use that as a blush topper. I've also used Candy and Mimosa as straight up blushes on days that I want a real glow. Mimosa is a little more bronzy tone, so I have used that around my hairline. I also like dusting it on my shoulders or on my decollete. This kit is amazing if you want to glow. I highly suggest picking this one up. They do have a deeper version as well if you're more on the medium to dark side. Amazing. Oh, I love it. For blush, I have been reaching mostly for my, um, oh, what is this called? Laura Mercier Peach Mosaic. It's been a favorite of mine for a few years, but I kind of just always go back to it in the summertime. It's what I have on my cheeks today. It's a beautiful mix of four different peachy tones, sorry, three different peachy tones, and then one sort of highlighty champagne color, but I just swirl them all together and it just gives you the most gorgeous peach glow. I love this. I think it would work for a lot of different skin tones because you do get four very unique shades there and you can kind of concentrate your brush wherever you like. Super, super pretty if you're into a glowy, peachy look. Definitely check this one out. So I actually have a couple favorites this month that I have had in my stash for a while. Like I'm talking a couple of years and I love when I rediscover things and they just, they're like new again and I love them. So the first thing I have is an eyeshadow trio and this is, I'd say 80% of the month what I wore. This is by Stila and it's a baked eyeshadow trio in the shade Gold Glow. This has been around for years. I purchased this, well this isn't the first one that I bought, this is actually the second one. I had one years ago, I wore the heck out of it when I was teaching. I wore it, you know, most days. It's just very easy. I dropped it and it shattered and I was like, broken. So I did end up repurchasing it because I missed it. It's just, it's perfect you guys. It's got this golden shade for the lid, this deep brown for the crease, and this lovely, lovely highlight shade for under the brow bone and on the inner corner. It is a foolproof system. There's something about it that is just so beautiful. It's got this kind of goddessy glow. This gold is one of my favorite golds I have ever owned. I was actually going through the Starbucks drive through one day and the girl who was handing me my drink was like, I love your eyeshadow and this is all it was. It was just these three colors. I just don't think this has gotten enough love on my channel over the years because it's been a favorite of mine for so long and I, I think it's an underrated product that Basically everyone should own because it's beautiful. Okay, a couple lip products. I'll start with the one that I have on my lips right now. And again, this is kind of like an oldie but a goodie that I've rediscovered. I was wearing it in my last video and someone asked, you know, what's on your lips? This is Max Luster Lipstick in Shy Shine. And it is a beautiful, very like neutral pink. It does have this beautiful sheen, not really any shimmer, it's a luster. So it's got this beautiful like shine and sheen. It's what I have on my lips. It's actually very similar to my natural lip color. So this just enhances like the look of my natural lips and it gives it a little bit of shine. I love that look in the summertime, especially when you're out in the bright sun and you don't want to look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. You know, that sunshine can be harsh. <laughs> the real light can be very telling and I like more of a natural look. So wearing this simple eyeshadow trio with this lipstick has just been perfect and yeah if you don't own this one it's a great just neutral to have in your collection okay the other lipstick that i've been wearing a lot is from bite beauty and it's one of their amuse what do you call these amuse bouche lipsticks and i have the shade meringue now when i first hauled this i told you guys i wasn't 100 percent sure about it and i'm still not 100 percent sold on the scent i really don't like the smell of this it smells like lemon 
I don't know why. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just, I know it's personal preference. I don't want my lipstick to smell like lemon. I want my kitchen cleaner and soap to smell like lemon. Anyway, um, but this is the shade Meringue. And I kind of avoided it after I purchased it for the first little while because I just hated the scent. But then one day I threw it on and once it's on my lips, I really don't smell it. Um, it's just when I open it up, I'm like, ooh, why? Just a beautiful pink and it's described as having a peach undertone. I would say it's a very warm peach undertone. It's very, very beautiful. It's comfortable. It wears really well on my lips. It doesn't like settle or spread or anything like that. And it's just a really nice... Nice lipstick, food grade ingredients, um, you know, Bite Beauty has all kinds of good stuff going on. What I will say is that these are very soft. I wouldn't keep them like in your purse. I have had them melt, keep them in a cooler place like in your makeup drawer or something. But um, they are just a really nice formula and I love this color. Next, I have a scent. I have had this for a while again, but uh, I like to bust it out in the summertime, and I recently took it on a trip with me, and quite a few people commented on how nice it smelled, so I love that. Um, so this is Bootsy Oil, and I learned about this through Christine, or Pink So Foxy, um, and it's made in Maui. It is a natural oil, and it's just, it's basically, it just smells like coconuts. It smells like the beach. <sighs> if you love the smell of like vanilla, coconut, anything, this is so nice. It's subtle because it is just like a natural oil, but I just, you know, roll a little bit on and it does stick around for most of the day. You might need to reapply it, but it's it's got a very warm, comforting kind of like sexy beach scent and I love it. My husband complimented it. Um, it's really, really nice. So I have emailed the girl um, from the shop. I talked to her a while back when I purchased this. I just like sent her an email to tell her how much I loved it. And she was super sweet. So I love just supporting people that are, you know, just kind. So um, I will link her shop below. I'm not affiliated, but I just love, love, love this fragrance. So that is it for my July favorites. Thanks so much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed this. I would love to know what some of your favorites are, what are your favorite lip colors, your favorite fragrances. Please leave me a comment below and let me know. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Take care of each other and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.